Welcome back to a special edition of the I of Idle Kingdom Defense. So today we are looking at the patch 1.1.18 update. So in this patch we got a few different things. The first thing we got is they gave us the mythic gear. So yes, 100% better than than the legendary 5 star gear. Almost twice as much attack just on the sword alone. And the bonus is 150% compared to 125% here. So this will be a huge upgrade. It's also really shiny. That is a ton of health. That is 1.1 million health. Wow. So some big upgrades here. If you're this far, I'm not even close here, right? Crit damage would be the big one. Crit damage is really going to be the one that really brings you to the next level because that the ability to do a lot of extra crit damage is what really hurts things and a hundred 150 percent move speed that's just like hilarious to me everybody's gonna be like zooming all over the place <clears throat> okay so outside of mythic gear we now you will see i did do a summon we some summons more than one uh we did get marion so marion is our new S tier hero. She's unique in that um, usually, like if you look at any other S tier hero, they have like a, a, a buff here about their damage. Marion instead has an attack. It doesn't describe this attack. I, I've heard it's a line attack, but I don't know. Unfortunately, with 12 out of 100, I have no idea how she attacks. Uh, Glacial Strike has a 40% chance to knock the enemy in the air, so she has a, a knock up. And she has a 44% chance to freeze the enemy for 15% for 4 seconds. This probably goes up to 60%, so a 75% freeze. And who knows how long this could be. I'm hoping this is a 14 second freeze, so this goes up by 2 seconds each time. On an 8 second cooldown, that makes her basically a super Evan. Makes perfect sense when you consider how strong Evan is. However, I would not consider her a replacement to Evan. Because, again, she only has a 75% freeze, where Evan has a 99% freeze. I feel like the two of them would complicate, complicate, complement each other a lot. And I feel like who she's really replacing is Mason. Because I, if her, she has a line attack like Mason, if you're using Mason, you would basically transition to Marion. Possibly. Or, or maybe just use her instead of somebody else. I mean, there's a lot to kind of wait and see what we get to there. So that's about all we got in the patch. It, oh, no, there's one other thing. While we didn't get Mythic Archer Gear, we did get this. So Mythic Archer Gear is in development. Mythic Archer Gear, I think, will be a lot more relevant to most of us. Uh, mostly because with Mythic Archer gear, we can really look at how it's going to change things. Now, I do have a dilemma. Uh, I have a really nice arrow and really nice armor. <clears throat> now, will the upgrade be enough to make up for, you know, my, th my plus 30 levels here? I don't know. We're, <laughs> we're going to have to find out. But that's something that I have to consider. Uh, with my arrow, it's plus 40, so it's about a quarter of a million attack, so about half of this attack. I would expect it to go up by about 12%, so I would expect this to go to, uh, not 12, 25% is what I think it would go up to at least. It might go even more because it's mythic, but I would expect it to go up at least by 25% off the base. So this is about a half a million attack off the base, so a quarter of that would put it at three. 390 and it would make upgrading it about 75 a little, little over 7500 probably 7560 with that difference of um let's let's see the base is now going to be let's see 250 whoops so around uh let's say 312 312,000. And then an additional... So I would expect it to be about 40,000, which means if I can only upgrade to Mythic 1, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be in a problem. 
If I could, if I can theoretically upgrade to Mythic 2, and it goes about the same, you know, 25% each level, then basically by by Mythic 2, I would be replacing my arrow, and it wouldn't even be a question. Mythic 3, which is where I would anticipate I'd be able to get, would be basically as good of this right off the bat. <clears throat> and so once again, um, the way this, the way the archer currently works is. 6,500 is the is the stage it would go to. Right now, I think you have to have 6,500 to get five star legendary. Let me very, be very clear. So 7,100, 7,700, and 8,300 to go all the way to assuming it goes up because each time it goes up by 100. So assuming that. 8300 is the max. I think, or it might have been 8200. I think somebody did in Discord. It was 8200. I'm not sure. But assuming that, that that pattern holds true, I would be eligible for a three-star Mythic bow. So that would be good enough for me to to basically upgrade. So that's what we're waiting for. I'm really hoping we get uh, Archer gear next, especially since they changed the whole way it promotes. They shouldn't have a problem with adding it. It's not like people are going to be able to start the game and promote their bow all the way up to, you know, Mythic. Additionally, you can see I am flush with steel to be able to do this. So, that, but the side effect of this does mean that from now on I will be saving my Shining Stones. Makes it a little less exciting in the short term, but hopefully we'll get more exciting long term. So once again, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to support the channel, and if you have any questions, please say something in the comments. Thank you again, and have a great day.